the S5 range has undergone a comprehensive redesign from nose to tail this year, with the basic proportions from last year's car still in place. For the coupe and convertible, the S5 still bears the same handsome proportions and shape, while Audi designer Frank Lambert has added new, sharper touches to the exterior. The nose has been lowered closer to the road this time around, and the headlights have been raised slightly to furrow the S5 S brow. The S5 receives its own lighting signature from the S4, although we happen to like the latter's just a little more. The S5 S unique element is Lamberti's power dome on the hood, that's sharply creased and pronounces the performance coupe's power. Along the sides, Audi has added starch to a character line that runs along the body and hides the hook shunt line up top. Taken alone, the line doesn't inspire much emotion, but in direct daylight when the line can cast a longer shadow along the body it comes better into view. The coupe's cabin is punctuated by a chrome accent that frames the window and visually places the wider rear pillar that connects the roof to the trunk. The convertible's top doesn't have the same frame, and the new S5 Sportback skips the element altogether. What the Sportback missed in the fact is he pillar it more than gained in its devastating shape. Although the Sportback body has been available in Europe for a few years, it makes its first trip across the pond this year. The four-door S5 is a dead ringer for the bigger S7 that we like so much, and carves the same side profile as the bigger sedan. We're not alone in our admiration for the S5 Sportback either Lamberti said of all the S45 models that the Sportback was his favorite too. Regardless of body style, the S5 is powered by a new Tabochich 3.0 liter V-6 that Audi brought to the S4 and S5, a variant will appear in the RS5 later. Review continues below the Truba, minus 6 is rated at 354 horsepower and 369 pounds feet of torque and can propel the S5 up to 60 mph in 4.4 seconds. The twin scroll, single to Bochiger, sandwiched between the V-6S banks that feeds one side of the engine first to reduce any lack from the forced induction. Mostly, the engine succeeds in providing willing power throughout the range. The S5 S Torque comes on at 1,350 rpm and stays flat all the way to 4,500 rpm. The V-6 feels particularly strong in passing the S5 S Mission as a grand tear that can chew through miles has been largely realized. The engine teamed with an 8-speed automatic exclusively no manual this time around and Audi's all-wheel drive system, which it calls Coatra. The all-wheel drive system splits torque 4, 0, 6, 0, front to rear for better performance. New for this year, Audi offers a sport rear differential that can direct more torque side to side in the bag, for better grip and cornering. Four-wheel independent suspension is standard in the S5, and features a 5-link setup with more aluminum components for less weight at the wheels. A new adaptive suspension system lowers ride height by nearly an inch in the S5, and can toggle the firmness of the dampers from comfort to dynamic, with an auto setting taking care of the shuffle for the driver automatically. Regardless of drive select setting, the S5 doesn't feel overly hard or high strung it succeeds as a grand tower here too.